Hey everyone, it's Justin Staub, your DECA GOAT here, to give you some exam tips on how to prepare for your cluster exams for your upcoming events. The first tip that I've got for you is practice your exam. And a lot of you have questions about how do I do that? Well, the first place you go to is the, the DECA High School exam prep uh, resource page for competitive events. I'll link that in the video description down below. Uh, but on this web page, you can get all of your exam sample exams for all of the events. Just for practice today, we'll take a look at the Principles of Business Management and Administration exam, PBM, and you can click open the sample exam here. So your number one tip is take your exam as often as you can. The number two tip that I've got for you is find more exams. Uh, a lot of students don't know that this site also exists from DECA. Uh, this is something that DECA has as a resource page for teachers. Now on this resource page, and I'll, again, I'll link this below, this resource page is for teachers to use role plays and exams in the classroom. Uh, free to use, it's just you have to dig a little bit further on the DECA website to find it. Uh, what I want to show you is there are role plays. Uh, we're not look, talking about role plays today, but you can certainly pull into these. Um, there are role plays for principles of business administration, and then there are also exam resources for principles of business administration. So you can get the current one, which is linked on the previous page I just showed you, but you can also get the last three years of exams. So you have 400 questions that you can study from. So now, First and foremost, that first tip was practice your tests and go get more tests. But what do you do? How do you practice with those exams? How do you get really good at it? Good question. So I took the 2020 exam and I want to show you just question number one and how I recommend students go through this practice. A state officer for Pennsylvania from 2020 gave me this advice. First off, besides just going through and practicing all the questions and looking at all the answers, what you want to do is you want to take, let's take for instance question number one. Um, most DECA exam questions, you can really narrow down between one of two choices. For question number one, I am not sure whether the answer would be accounts receivable document or sales contract. So I would make note of that. And in addition to writing down that I think the answer for number one would be letter D, a sales contract. At the end of this exam, or all any of the DECA exams that you're going to find online, you're going to see the answers. So the answer to number one is sales contract. Great, I got it right. But if you wanted to be a DECA pro, another tip that I'd have for you is to write down the things that you thought were answers. So yes, you got you said that letter D was the right answer, you got that right. But clearly, if you thought letter C was a good choice, we don't know what accounts receivable documents are. So in addition to just practicing and getting the questions right, and then reading the description about what a sales contract is, is and you can go look at the source here and get more information, uh, you really, really, really should go and look up the, the choice that you didn't pick, the accounts receivable document. That will help you immensely to understand more terms for DECA. The last thing I want to point out, because many of you know how to use the uh, previous exams, many of you know how to look at the answers and kind of work backwards and get as much of, as it, of uh, support as you can out of those answers. The last thing I want to point out is something called the exam blueprint. And again, I'll link this in the video description down below. Uh, let's take a look at, this says BL, the source, BL and a three digit code. Uh, I'm not necessarily worried about the three digit code, but let's look at what the, the BL source is. There is in uh, DECA puts out a business or a exam blueprint for each one of the cluster exams. So we're looking at the business administration core. Okay, BL represents any question that has to do with business law. So uh, it also tells you how many of those questions are on your district state district test, your state test, or the ICDC national test. So as you go through, it would be very good to pay attention for the questions that you get wrong, what category they fall into. And if they happen to be a lot of business law, or if they happen to be a lot of um, a lot of communications, CO, write down instructional area they fall into and then really look for resources on those instructional areas. If you do a quick Google search on something like Quizlet, you're going to find a lot of support in these specific instructional areas. There you have it guys. Uh, tip number one, take the test over and over again. Tip number two, find as many tests as you can. Tip number three, really dive into the answers of those tests and get as much of it as you as much information as you can out of the answers. And tip number four, use the exam blueprint to really focus in your studying on the things that's going to make you most successful. So there you have it, your four big tips for how to be successful on your upcoming DEC exam. If you like what you saw today, like the video. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. 
Good luck on your deck of success journey. I'm Justin Staub, your deck of goat.